Welcome everyone to a gameplay overview of Evolution. Evolution is a board game, uh, so mostly if you've played, if you ever have like game nights, board game nights, it's something I'm actually just getting into. Most of the board games I've played in my life have been like hex, hex based board games that are pretty, well very niche and uh, maybe if you're lucky you can get one other person, mostly you just play them, play these games against yourself. But the, I think the internet age has really opened up a lot of possibilities like to find other people who have like interests. Um, just take my Discord for example. We have great discussions, great multiplayer games. But then let's also ta uh, think about the fact that you can actually just play board games with people directly. And they're all digital now. So this is basically a digital board game. Now I don't know what I, what I just chose the campaign. That's Yeah, there, there you go. That's a brief glimpse of the campaign map you can just basically play the, it's kind of like magic the gathering or any other uh like adaptation of a physical game uh they give you this way to play it on a map you, with, against the other opponents but uh probably the real appeal is to hear play with your friends and this is it i was considering buying this game um just because I'm enjoying it so much on the computer. So I actually have not played this one. I've, I have a friend who brings over board games and he hasn't brought this one over yet. He does own a lot though. Hmm. Anyway, so we'll just showcase a, a game of this. We got some, I don't know, some carnivores or whatever. Uh, what's the basic premise of this game? First of all, I wanna say, before I forget, thank you, I, this is a press key I got. So thank you so much to the developers for, um, for contributing that to me. So the way this game works is you're the I, I guess the backstory, the lore is you're in a watering hole in like prehistoric time and you're you're like somehow controlling creatures because you, you aren't just one species, you are and you end up being multiple species and you're trying to get them to survive. And in fact the goal is to eat the most amount of food before the game ends. Game ends when the cards run out, basically. You know, kind of a typical board game, end game situation. So the first turn, everyone starts with one species, and we'll have three traits we can put on these species. This is population, this is body size. Um, uh, so the first part of the turn, every turn, is to contribute a card to the food. So this is gonna contribute to four food, that's eight, five, three, what do I want to contribute? Well, mostly what you want to do is contribute the one that you don't... Um, I mean, in the, on the very first turn, we just want to get rid of a card we don't want. I think I'm going to keep Long Neck, because that ends up being sometimes a really useful one. But Fertile might actually, might actually be really good. This gives us... I'm assuming the first turn that there will be leftovers. So this basically gives us a free population. We'll do that as well. So you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice either one of these, it's fine. We'll give fat tissue away, and then we're gonna spend burrow to get another um, population anyway. Now, carnivores, we haven't talked about this. So everyone here is supposed to be a, not a, be a carnivore. However, when you see body size of two, you start to panic. Carnivores, this could be a card which says carnivore, which means that this species now doesn't get food from the watering trough, it gets food from eating other populations. Uh, which It's a very cool dynamic. Unfortunately for us, we don't really have any good defenses against that, and so I have meant to say that carnivores have to eat a body size down from them, which means that if you see this person put body size of two, it can eat anyone with body size of one. I'm gonna roll the dice here. I'm gonna go ahead and play long neck on one. I play fertile on the other. This is only going to give us two food for this turn, and really one of those food is not even going to be drawn from the middle, but that's going to help fertile proc, hopefully on the future turns. So let's go ahead and see if this is in fact, and it is, a carnivore. Now um, the dynamic here is we get to go last, so we should have been able to react to that. This guy doesn't get to go last, he goes first, but he gets to pick his food first. And he just, did, they had to do that, didn't they? They had to kill me. <laughs> now, the good news is he at least picked the guy who had already gone. Why? Ah, oh, gosh. He at least picked the guy who had already gone, eaten. So I still got that food. That that does go into my little score point system. Okay, so we're down. 
at the beginning of every round, you're dealt the number of cards, I think it's four, no, three, plus the number of species you have. So we got three plus one for having this species. And then we got this card because every time you lose a trait, this card, you discard that, but you get another card back. So traits are refundable in a, in a sense. Okay, so what do we want to put in for food? We have six food left over. We do have, this will proc immediately, so that's going to be two population. I love cooperation. I think it's probably the best um, trait in the game. Um, intelligence is not going to help us much, but let's just flood it with food. We got this carnivore to deal with, but the good news is we got to see what he's going to do first. Okay, the fact that he put, oh, that's a lot. The fact that he put four population here and put this thing means he probably has herd pack hunting. There, that's it. Which adds his population to his body size for the purpose of attacking, which means that we're basically boned. <laughs> There's no way that we're going to be able to counter that. So what we're going to do instead is put the only thing we can, put horns on. We're still going to get another species which might just get eaten, but before it gets eaten, we hope that we can distribute some food to it. <clears throat> so this should be a three population. We should have the means of feeding it. Alright, and let's see, who's going to protect who? This guy's already protected. He's got, God, just, this thing is not going, this is not going my way. <laughs> right, he can eat me again if he wants, in fact, he has to eat me, damn it. Oh man, well we have horns so we take his population down at least. Alright, so not a very good game for us. We're probably going to lose this. If I lose it quickly enough, I'll try to play a second game. And I won't talk about the mechanics. I'll just briefly say what I'm doing and get on with it. I still want to add more food because we do have this perk that eventually is going to work. Did it? Wait, Fertile should have procced. I don't know. Um... Well, we're kind of screwed unless we do... We're kind of screwed no matter what. <clears throat> we don't have a good system here. The only way... I could have put the population here. I want this guy to get some food before he dies. We will go first, so we will feed this guy. And even though he loses one population, we should be able to feed him twice, actually. And one... He'll take this. We still have one left, though. We get this card back as well, remember. And now that feeds him again. And that does go into our little stockpile. Hooray. So what we really need to do is get out of this situation, though, because this, this is not sustainable. <laughs> this guy's not doing very well either. Really is not. I mean, he has a great carnivore and everything, but... It's the... It's like, this guy's breaking it in, you know... Okay, so plenty of food. We don't need to worry about that. I don't think we want to make a carnivore with one carnivore almost about to starve. Forging is also a very good card. Let's get rid of horns. <clears throat> Alright, so let me see. I think we'll make... This guy's going to have the ability to... Okay, what's his attack size? Oh, he got rid of the pack hunting. Oh, interesting. So if I do this, this guy actually is going to survive this turn. Well, no, he's not because uh, this guy hasn't gone yet, and I'm sure that he's going to stack one more on his body size, but that's fine. <clears throat> Probably means that we just aren't going to win this one. And that's just fine. Yeah, everyone's starting to contribute a little bit less. <laughs> Alright, but we're still going to get something out of this. This guy's completely fed, so when he dies... Oh! Hooray! We didn't get attacked for once. <laughs> there it is. And we actually survived. This is a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. Wait. Oh, he has lots of food left over. Okay. Well, I thought we were going to survive. Look at all this food that these guys are collecting, though. 
So this guy should get up to four population now. Uh, horns is good. I think we want to keep Burrow. We want to keep Symbiosis for sure. We'll probably get rid of the Horns and replace it with Symbiosis. Uh, actually, no. We'll put this... Uh, Burrow... Okay, let's get rid of the horns. We have two anyway. So we can see what this guy's gonna do. Oh, he's not a carnivore anymore. Amazing, okay, so we're gonna go just crazy with the amount of food we wanna collect. Spend horns, forage. Get more population. And let's get another species. And let's symbiosis with this one. Which won't do anything this turn, but next turn we'll actually be able to defend it. Uh, and that's a lot of food. That's going to be good. I think that that's... Good. Yeah, let's do it. More car more species equals more cards. Yeah, we're definitely going to be able to get... I mean, 38. There's tons of food. Everyone's going to auto-feed. Hooray! So this happens if there's um, no carnivores, and there's enough food that everyone can fill every slot. So this time was the first turn where we actually took more food than anyone else. Now note the storage, the fat stuff, it just gets put into your food, so it's not, it's not necessarily that good. It's not like he got nine, he got three. And then he has six, which will only become three this turn immediately. So you can only get three. So you're still kind of limited by your population. Mm. Well, we don't want another fertile. This guy has body size six, though. It's just kind of crazy that that's the way he's going. Lots of food being made over here. We, we really got to step up our game. All right, let's do one like this just to keep this guy protected. Let's cooperate so that this guy gets fed. I think we'll do this and then we'll just pump. <clears throat> um, actually, I want to do it this way. Two for this guy. Because he does get fed twice. Uh, two times. I mean, he gets fed uh, two food for every feeding this guy does. So that's perfect. And symbiosis just means that he's un he cannot be attacked unless if this guy has a higher body size, which he does. <clears throat> and this might be another auto feed situation. Yeah, probably. That's a lot of food, and these guys have a lot of things which are full. So we made it. We got ten for ourselves, which is looking good. Six versus uh, nine for these guys, which is a ton. Ah, <clears throat> man, that's a lot. And they are storing this six. Now, at the very last round, which is coming up, probably, yeah, the next round is the last one, he gets all of these as well. So that's a pretty big bonus. We're almost surely not going to win. And it's because, you know, the carnivore picked on us. A little bit of, you know, these games come down to luck for sure. Um, intelligence is going to give us uh, five food. Not enough food, but we can do a long neck. Are we gonna get? Okay, so we'll we will go second. We won't really know what everyone else is gonna do. I think I'm just gonna go for the food. This guy could be a carnivore, but it wouldn't make sense. He wouldn't be able to feed. We're actually doing pretty well from carnivores anyway. <clears throat> so let me think. Let's do a long neck instead of fertile, because fertile was no longer useful. Well, actually, there's five left, so it could proc one more time. But we can do this instead of horns. Um, two here. So one, two feedings are going to solve both of these guys completely, which is great. And the more trait, every trait you end the game with is a point, so we'll get one here. 
Because this guy's very well protected. This guy's pretty well protected, which means that this guy's protected because symbiosis. Uh, it's, it's, it's not, we're not in a great situation. I'm going to just go for broke on food and hope that that pays off. We'll see if somebody's a carnivore and takes advantage of our weakness. We're probably going to beat both of these guys just because we're coming on so strong at the end here. <clears throat> Okay, that was very useful. We only have to, we only have to feed twice. Ooh, 20 food. That's probably not going to be auto-feed. Which means that somebody's going to starve, but it won't be us, because we're going to collect five food. Or no, four food per feeding. And the most... Yeah, I mean, obviously you want to collect as much food as possible, because there's not enough food for everyone. So the more that's why cooperation is so good, and that's why foraging is so good. <clears throat> so it looks like we are going to get one last feeding session... I don't think that we're gonna get, yeah. <clears throat> so there it is. Oh, we lose a little population, but that's not too bad. We got, oh, wow, These, this guy won for sure. Uh, that's fine. And this is 15 minutes in the video. We'll do another one real fast. Hopefully I can get a chance to play as a carnivore. I was hoping that would happen. It's, oh man. Oh, he beat me by one. <laughs> Damn you, Glutovastus! Damn you! He beat me by one. I kept saying the whole time he's gonna beat me, he's gonna beat me, but we did better than I expected. And I guess this really does show that the the body fat storage thing is, you know, that thing, whatever this is called again, uh, is really not that beneficial. Okay, so that's fine. We'll play another one real fast. Main menu. Just go back and run it. Play it again. Another, we'll do it the same people. I'll try to go to Carnivore this time, which is a lot of fun. So uh, even this is a potential game we can play on the Discord. I'm not sure. Who knows? Is it always? The, why is this guy always getting going first? Not that it's the. It can be a bad thing on the first turn. So we want fertile. Let's do symbiosis to give us the most. All right. Are we looking at? I'm. Uh, that could be it. That could be it. Okay. Let's do fertile. If I do this, body size increase, he cannot be killed. And he's my fertile guy as well. But I think... I'm going to give this guy extra body size and... That's going to prep him. That's going to be actually his prep to become, well, I guess not. Uh, okay, let's just go with three. <laughs> this is not, I want one guy to be a carnivore. Oh, okay, it wasn't a carnivore after all. So we did the right thing. Oh, there's only eight, so we did the wrong thing. <laughs> We're going to die. <laughs> oh, there's enough. Okay, great. But there's not going to be any for the fertile thing to proc, so this was a kind of a waste of a card. That's fine, we'll keep it anyway. And we're going to go with a carnivore. So let's put fertile in there, because it gives us the most amount. Uh, let's see what happens. This guy's probably a carnivore. He could be... A wow, everyone's just going huge on size. Symbiosis probably explains what that guy's doing. This guy's climbing, that's warning call. Look at I I'm committed. We're going with it. Alright, we're gonna get a size of three on this guy. It's pretty obvious, I think, to add, well, just the one person who's remaining. Oh, okay, so we have two carnivores. Now, he can't eat me, but I can actually eat him, which is even better. Now, the big question comes now. Who do I want to feed on? <laughs> so I can eliminate my only carnivore prey. I can, you know, if you, a carnivore must eat. So even if I have to um, eat my own species, if there was no other food sources left, I would, I would eat my own species. So this guy can't eat me, but he can eat this guy. That's why I'm kind of concerned. 15, there's definitely enough food, so we don't need to worry about that. The other possibility though, is I could eat like this guy. Like, it's a roll of the dice, basically. If I let him eat this guy, I get this card back, but...
Who might he eat? Okay, he can't eat this guy because he's six. Oh, he does have a card, so he can bypass a defense, but no, he won't bypass a defense if he doesn't have to. He could eat this. Nope, he can't. Size two, so... Really, the only person he can eat is my guy. Alright, then we'll, we're just going to eat him. Get him out of the way. And now that all the carnivores have eaten, so we'll probably auto-feed. <clears throat> so there's definitely enough food there. Alright, so this guy collected four. We should probably try to pick on him. We don't want him getting too big. Um, well, food doesn't matter so much right now, because I'm one ahead. But since I'm also fertile... <laughs> we'll keep getting that food. Ah, uh, yeah, he he definitely improved his own situation. We'll do ambush, which will negate the warning call, so we'll be able to attack everyone else directly. And the one I really want is that pack hunting. For now, we'll just increase body size. And, <clears throat> you know, fat tissue might actually be useful on the carnivore. It does store up food. What I'd like to do, though, is get more, f just more population. And if we do this, we can eat a lot. But it depends on if we actually can eat a lot. As in, we need to be able to attack <laughs> a lot of people in order to get it. But I think it's worth it, because basically this is going to give us a lot of food. We can only eat one food with one population, but as soon as I put this down, we get another four spots. So I think it's worth it. It might be something we end up replacing, unfortunately, which is kind of a waste, but we'll see what happens. Alright, three procced, that's good. We got that, that's good. Fifteen, which means probably enough food, especially if our carnivore goes first, which he is going to. So we can get this guy, and that's going to give us two. We don't need to get... Okay, so this guy's a one... Now this is the group we wanted to kill first, all right? This guy didn't feed that well last turn. We can get him. I think we do focus on this guy. It's only going to eliminate one population, but we can actually kill him outright. We get three feedings. No, no, no. Actually, the, because of the two body size, he actually counts for two dots per feeding, which I can very easily show. So now we have one, two. We can keep, feed on him one more time. Oh, even better. We definitely want to feed him one more time because now he won't be able to use his foraging even. But then we also still want to eliminate... Uh, we could just eliminate this guy completely. But I think that's not what I want to do. I think I'd rather eliminate somebody uh, like one of these two. Well, maybe I don't. I mean, we're going to set this guy back a lot by, <laughs> by doing this. Just depends on who I want to set back. The warning call doesn't bother me. So you can give him five food. Hmm. He smartly fed the two people who... I don't know. I, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just start getting food ourselves. Gives me time to think. Okay. It's time to decide. Either way, we're setting one of these guys back. I think we set this guy back pretty... But quite a lot. Although he did win the last game, so you know what? Screw you. And so we'll have to start walking, watching out for Regularis now. <clears throat> but it's great to be in this situation where we have a size 4 carnivore. And we know we're not going to want another carnivore, so we'll just get rid of that. <clears throat> Alright, our turn to go first, which means everyone's going to know what we're going to do. We don't want to discard this now that we <laughs> actually have <clears throat> all that food there. So we do want to go for bigger body size on him. I don't think we want to do anything with intelligence. We probably just want to go with larger population as well. Um, we can go with getting this guy burrowing, but I don't think that's necessary. Let's take a look. So, we don't know who is going to become a carnivore. That is a problem. I think we'll do this, something like this. It's going to make this guy not a great target. Okay. That'll be our turn. Uh, 
And there's probably going to be some defenses now to block my poor carnivore, make sure he doesn't eat. Alright, let's see. Wow, there's a lot of food there. Okay, so this hard shell, this is symbiosis, so yeah, and this is climbing. You can see that they've done it. I probably want to kill... God, I can't kill any of those guys. In fact, there's only one species I can eat, which is not good. <laughs> well, let's eat. Let's kill them first, I guess. Less food that is taken from the pot, basically. Alright, now that it's me going to feed, I'm going to have to feed on my own guy, unfortunately. Twice. Darn. I wish that fat didn't have to be collected. That would be nice. No, 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 no. Alright, well, we'll feed on this guy. He does have, uh... Fertile anyways, so... It's kind of okay. We'll gain a bit of it back. But that does set us back a bit, so we'll have to get rid of this. I don't know, that's a lot. Damn it. Or we can get rid of Ambush, and we can go with Intelligence. That actually does seem like a good idea. What that's gonna do is... So we don't... Do we need Forging? Forging would be good. Actually, frankly... Or we can get, yeah, we can put intelligence there, but then we have to spend. You have to spend a card to break through someone's defenses, though. So discard a card, which means it's a waste, right? It's a waste of potential population or something. But if we replace fat tissue. Ah, it's, that's rough. If we replace fat tissue, we're going to get rid of five food, I think. I don't think you get to store those. I'm not sure. I'd like to know. I should do a test game with that. Anyway, there's not going to be enough food for everyone in this one, but we're going to forage to get this guy secure. And this guy only needs to feed once, so just two feeding sessions seems okay. I think we'd be okay. Uh, which means we go with horns or scavenger. Scavenger might also be useful to get, because the number of times we're going to feed, we're definitely going to produce enough food for anybody else. In fact, one thing we could do, especially if we were going to do well, uh, so let's do horns here. Which is not uh, as much food, but... Yeah, this guy's definitely going crazy. We, we want to take him out. He's going... It's just getting disgustingly good. Hopefully this is a carnivore that ends up picking on this guy, but... So, what did I want to do here? I think I want to replace Ambush with Intelligence, but I, I might have to spend two cards. I believe you have to spend two cards to blow through... Uh, negate a defensive trait, so I might need to blow through two cards to, defend, to get two defensive traits out of the way. Plus, the more body size I have now, the more I have to eat to fill all my fat, which is not good. But I think we will still do this to try to get us up to as least, at least as big as we need to be. Um, now we can either forage or we can scavenge with this guy. I think foraging is going to be... Uh... Well, if we scavenge, we don't even need to worry about the food in here. So let's just do that. Do we want to replace it? I don't know. I really don't. We'll probably be able to feed on this guy. Like, why wouldn't he... He should defend himself. Put one here so we get... I mean, I think it makes sense to have even amounts of population since forging allows you to grab two at a time. So what do we do here? This is tough. I could very easily see myself putting intelligence on this guy and then keeping my forging card. But I think we're going to be able to kill some stuff without needing to do that. In which case... We might be able to proc this three times even. Probably should have put this in. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. 
Because I think we're going to feed enough times to make that worthwhile. This is a guess. <laughs> Just a guess. Ah, look at this. We're going to be able to feed on this guy. So there's only nine food, which is obviously means that every feeding session is going to be important. Now, if I don't attack this guy now, I won't be able to feed on him at all. However, <laughs> oh, I can feed on this guy just to get rid of him. I don't know, it doesn't get rid of him, it just gets rid of one population. Well, we gotta feed on this guy. Oh, no, 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 we can feed on this guy later. Okay, so we wanna feed here. That gives us two. We feed on this guy afterwards, but all the food's gonna be gone. Two, one, two, three. Okay, we can feed on this guy three times. So we don't need to feed it. We can actually just worry about getting our own. Either way, it doesn't matter. We're going to end up with... Let's see. We're going to feed... Three times on this guy. Yeah, we're going to feed three times on him, so... It's going to give us three here. Which one do we want? I guess we'll just go. It doesn't matter. We just lose population one way or another. Alright. Kill this guy. Kill him again. And kill him again. So the scavenging thing is actually paying off. So this is the game. I, I really enjoy the mental puzzles. It's kind of a simple thing. Be easy to play with friends, as I said. Is this the last round? Please be the last round. No? Oh. What? Should be the last round. I don't understand. Cooperation, always a great one. Fertile, we'll put that in. Has the most money. Oh, I can't believe we didn't get something useful as in, <laughs> as in uh, well, anyway. So we'll do this, we'll do burrow, we'll do cooperation, and that means he'll just hopefully get food right away. Oh, he's gonna have to go third, so assuming that we can make it that far. <laughs> Now, who else wants to get what? I guess let's go with even numbers for that guy. Uh, body size is not that important. I might just hold on to this card. It doesn't say last turn, although you would guess that it would be. This is my enemy. He's certainly the one closest to winning. Uh, see, you can see that the ones that I normally do are cooperation, foraging, and long neck. Those, are, in my opinion, are the the ultimate. So we're at this point where um, people are going to starve to death, basically. <laughs> now, who can I attack right now that I can't attack soon? Okay, that guy I can attack all the times I need. So, you know what? We don't need to worry about anything. Let's feed first. And this guy's actually going to be able to get full. Wow, we're not going to lose a single population. We are in good shape. So he used intelligence, spent a card to make money, to make the food. I think we're just going to kill this unit, which is going to cost him two population. Otherwise... I could attack this unit, but that doesn't matter. He's having to burn cars to keep his food alive. He's going to get seven food. This guy's going to get much more than that, so. Let's go for him. And this will be the last turn, so. Oh, we did lose one. So we only fed twice. That's true. But that's still fine. This guy had enough population. I think we're on the road to victory. The scary thing is, when we end up get into the game over screen. The, sca the carnivore stuff is obviously our, our main money maker, especially with the scavenger also feeding on the carnivore stuff. But the plant stuff is what goes last, so someone's going to be catching way up at the very end, and we're going to be scared sitting there thinking, oh my god, are we going to get there or not? So, <laughs> Alright. Pack hunting has to go instead of ambush is that true so this guy's defense is six which means that yes we, we need to 
So the only way we can get around this is if we climb, so it doesn't matter unless we use intelligence. Well, we could use intelligence and feast. Just go crazy eating everything. Um... I think we're going to be in good shape here. So I think we'll do intelligence and we'll burn pack hunting. Ambush. Man. It's tough. What we could actually do is switch this guy out of being a carnivore even. Uh, we could grab somebody else and make them a carnivore. Just go crazy on a pack hunting carnivore. Wow. How many will we get? One. Two. We can make this guy... We can give him Burrow instead. <laughs> I don't know why this is what's coming to my mind. It probably doesn't matter. He will have to eat though. So he will eat our other species. Which is not good. Yeah, because these guys are going to be defended by a lot of stuff. I think we go with intelligence. We'll put fast tissue on this guy. Just that way he's burrowed immediately. But then we can add more food if we absolutely have the ability to. So we, all these trait cards are going to be worth a lot. Um, yeah, instead of getting rid of Ambush, I could just build another Carnivore. It kind of looks like it's the best thing to do. Let's take a look at what would happen if we did this. So this guy has only an attack size of 5, which means that anybody this guy can attack, this guy. Anybody that this guy can attack, this guy already could, so it's not useful to do this. Yeah, we'd have to put intelligence on to bypass, like climbing. Uh, it would be burning a lot of cards every attack. I don't really like it. So this guy can already attack this guy, right? 6. Oh, he can't. But if I put pack hunting on, he can. Actually, what we need to worry about most is this guy. So, intelligence is what we'll need to get by that. We can attack it, but he immediately should fill up, I'm guessing. So, who goes first? Oh, yeah, we can attack this guy once before he's unattackable, but that's not really that great of a deal. Um, and we'll need ambush to attack this guy. And otherwise, we need intelligence or pack hunting. Okay, wait. Warning Call protects only this guy, who already has climbing, so we don't need... I think since we want to go after this uh, left opponent, we will switch out Ambush for Pack Hunting, because this is not protected by, and this is not protected by, and we'll be able to kill both of them with this. And then we might as well just put more population on, make them even, even more difficult to kill. Okay. I mean, maybe we should just go crazy. This would be. This, he'll be able to attack anything that is not climbing or symbiosis or uh, warning call or yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's a lot of situations where he still won't be able to attack, but there's also a lot of situations where he will. And since there's a lot of situations where he will, let's go ahead and give a lot of population to that guy. And there we go. Good. Good enough. I'm happy. Watch them do warning call. I can still attack this guy, though. Oh, wow, he became a predator. Well, I really want to make sure I attack that guy first, then. Unfortunately, we have to worry about feeding ourselves first, I think. This guy has horns, so it's not going to be to anyone's advantage for him to be attacked. What does he have? He has intelligence, but he doesn't have any cards. So there's 19 food, there's... More than 19, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 14, 16. So there's only 3 left over for me. Yeah, we're going to be limited. But the scavenger can eat for free if this guy attacks. Yeah, so I can I can feed on both of these guys and they he cannot feed on, on me. I can feed on this guy no matter what. He doesn't have burrow. So let's go ahead and just get food first. The only thing I would do is eat this guy so that he doesn't eat me, but that's not a big deal, so. So now, I think... Okay, I'll do one more feeding session, then we'll start attacking. <clears throat> and 
and he's gonna start attacking so let's go after him first good so we stopped I mean we're basically stopping him from eating my guy too much unfortunately I didn't play this quite right what I should have done is killed this guy immediately, so I only have two food slots left. I misplayed this. Um, if I had ki just attacked this guy twice, I would have eliminated him. He would have attacked my guy a few more times, but he would have lost population every time doing it. So it wouldn't have mattered too much. Um, now I cannot f completely eliminate one of his cards, which would have been even better. He loses all three points for the traits if they're just cards in his hand. Oh well, we'll just prevent him from attacking again since we already messed it up. This guy lost some population, and look at all that. Okay, we won. <laughs> Hooray! 40 minute video, just as I expected. <laughs> Every Tortuga video must be at least 30, preferably 40. Wow, yeah, okay, we won by a lot. We almost had more than anybody else before feeding. Oh, we did. We were tied with everyone before our, our green food. So there we go, new species was created, carnivore, ambush, fat tissue, this is somebody's drawings, hooray. And that's going to conclude this video, so if you appreciate this kind of game, there's a link to the Steam page um, in the video description. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to get into board games too much, but I really like this one so I thought I'd do a video on it. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to press the like button, oh brother, Tortuga's doing it. He's selling out. <laughs> he said those words. Uh, or leave a comment below. Um, the comment section, I think, is one of the most popular things about my channel. I respond to every comment, so feel free to leave a comment. And I'll respond. Or not. Maybe I won't. But probably I will. So thanks for watching. Until the next video that you see of mine. Or until you see me on the Discord. Or until whatever we, wherever we interact next. Thanks for watching and take care.